What's up everyone? Welcome back to Bloodborne. I'm Obix and today we are finally entering the DLC. On the last episode we finished the dungeons and with that I got all the chalices that I needed to finally explore and farm better blood gems so that I could improve my weapons. It's been a couple of weeks and basically I have my setup done. I have an, a weapon with physical damage, fire, bolts, and arcane and in case you're wondering how do i have four weapons at level 10 plus the pistol in one run it's because i also farm some blood rocks on the dungeons this way instead of always going to the hunter's dream and changing the gems on the weapon which is a bit tiring and also confusing at times these are the weapons that i'm gonna have throughout the whole game right now and yeah that's basically what i did off camera i improved i farmed better runes better gems, leveled up my weapons and now we're all set to get to the hunter's nightmare so there's really no reason to stall right now let's just get going i'm really excited to finally move on with the story it's been such a long time i am really really excited for this it's gonna be a literal nightmare but i'm so ready dude i can't believe i'm getting to this point I have 8 bosses left to beat the game. I have the DLC, which has Lawrence, Ludwig, Orphan of Cause, Maria and the Failures. And then on the main game is just Murgo German and the Moon Presence. I am so close to the end. And I'm sure this is no surprise, but... The Hunter's Nightmare, especially the starting point, is my favorite part of the game. It's my favorite area. When I try to think of what's the area I like the most in this game, this is the one. Like, the rest of the areas are cool. There's some areas that are really cool, but nothing beats the feeling that I had when I entered here. And I was just like, wait, what the fuck? This is... This is like Yarnum, but it's all messed up. <sighs> For real, like... Nothing beats this. This and when you go through the clock, through the watch in the watchtower, the DLC is truly something else, dude. My favorite area by far. Alright, so now... <laughs> I guess we'll just explore. I have the, the guide up so that I know the items that I have to pick up. But I want to explore, face the hunters that are around here, just to see if all this torture that I've been going through has improved my skill in any way possible or not. I really want to see if I can beat these guys and how much damage do they deal to me. Because I feel like I've been... I... I gotten so used to the... to being one shot on the dungeons because of the curses and all that. I wonder if here on the Nightmare it's gonna be slightly easier or if I'm gonna get screwed just as easy. Okay. He didn't one-shot me, which is already great. Okay, 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 I'm happy, like I was just thinking to myself, I'm, I'm gonna die to this guy and it's the first enemy I face. But no, it went well. I'm actually really proud. I don't care if I die a lot of times after this, but I feel like my skill improved a lot. I remember getting here, again, leveled up, way much more health, and getting wrecked every single time by these hunters. It's, it's actually really funny to look back and compare, because I recall facing the enemies with, with... I barely dodged, basically. It was just a matter of smacking the attack button and hoping to kill them. And it's so fun to notice that now I'm more careful, I'm more strategic, I plan when they're attacking, dodge, attack when it's right. It's really, really fun to, to notice the evolution. 
And I'm glad I can notice some evolution. Okay, but I can just... <laughs> I was just saying, yeah, I remember just smacking the attack button, but actually it's possible to kill them like this, okay. Old Hunter's Attire! The swag game is up, my dudes. I could use a change of attire, actually. I've already tried all the clothes that I have right now, so... A fresher is welcome. I don't know if I want to go down already. I know there's some dogs nearby. They are gonna show up. I know that I can get to the graveyard through here or around. I guess I'll face the dogs first and then we'll see. Oh, you're dead. There they go. And it's so fun that they actually have normal dogs here. It's wild. Of course I died to the dog. <laughs> but hey, it's actually, it's so interesting. Like after seeing such messed up dogs, they insert the normal looking dogs on the hunter's nightmare. my dude oh this is awesome all right i think i'm gonna switch to the arcane weapon but i am enjoying this start this weapon looks sick the hunter's nightmare the hunter's weapons these old hunter's weapons look so sick dude and it sucks, because I'm going to pick up these weapons and I won't be able to use them. I still, get, I still can't get over that, because one of my goals when restarting to play this game was to try every single thing that the game had to offer. And of course I decide to play on the lowest level possible, which does not allow me to do that at all. It truly sucks. I actually wonder if after beating the game on blood level 4, if I'll enter new game plus and farm a shit ton of blood echoes just to level up my character and give every weapon a try. It would actually be really fun to do that, because it would be such a change from the small amount of health that I have right now. I would really like to do a parry from behind. I guess not. Motherfucker. Well, he doesn't have a pistol, which is nice. They have very little health. I really appreciate that. If I wanted, I could just kill them with shots. I love this area, dude. So fucking good. Just the amount of creativity that they have to pull off to do this shit. 
Just imagine the basic area of the game, now mess it all up. It's wild. Okay, there's no ladder here this time around. No lift there as well. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Hello? Good afternoon, my dude. I was about to heal. What is this weapon? Oh, that was really lucky. This guy. Uh, let's go down. Let's go to the graveyard now. And then we'll continue up. Oh shit. Hello? What is it facing? Why is it hitting the wall? I know that they are mad, but to the point of facing a wall? I was expecting him to be hitting a creature or something. But okay. You do you, my dude. Oh, there's a guy here with the boom hammer, right? It's that one. Oh, this is exciting. All right. Another weapon I won't be able to try for now. Although, obviously I tried that one when I've played the game before. That's a must. Such a fun, unique weapon. That's one of the, those weapons that I wish I tried and actually used more. That and the pizza cutter. Those two are really fun and very unique. I want to test out the fire weapon. Technically it deals less damage, but the beasts are weaker to fire, so let's try it out. Oh shit. Why didn't it bury him? Hmm. Weird. I actually thought I I managed the timing well. Guess I didn't. The dogs will always, always be a headache. Always. Alright. Let's continue, shall we? Oh. Oh, the frame rate on that one. Did you see that? That hunter there was so laggy. He's so frozen, dude. What was that?
Your aim is quite bad, my dude. Not the two of them at the same time, come on. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> Fucking hell! Oh, where did the second one come from, dude? Where did the second one come from? Oh, is it this hunter? That shows up there. I guess. Run, bitch. Hello? Ah, there we go. There we go. Okay. I was finding it odd because you can parry every hunter, so... The window on that one was kind of tough, but we got there. Oh. This guy. Be gone. Thank you. How do I get to that side? Is it from here? It is. Oh no, another one? Really? I've had enough of you! Oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. This is bullshit. Beast cutter. Great. My emotions are slowly transitioning from really joyful from for being in a new year. Oh wow. I I just stumbled a lot on my words. Uh, I'm slowly transitioning from being really happy to being in a new area to realizing, okay, this is gonna suck. <laughs> Alright. One more try. Where does he fall from, even? I don't see him anywhere. <laughs> he just makes a run for it. Amazing. Let's pretend this was the first attempt that I... This was the first time that I attempted to climb these stairs, okay? Alright. Full old hunter's garb. Here we go. I might remove the head, because... You know. A man's gotta do what he's gotta do. I really like how my character looks. This hat is actually really cool. This is such a perfect mix between Father Gascoin and uh, Hunter's Hunter's Head, or whatever you call it. 
Yeah, Hunter Head, exactly. It's such a perfect blend. Wow. Oh, I actually want to keep it. It has such a style to it. Okay. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, right. There's that big guy with the axe showing up from the church, right? Oh, I don't want to face him. Can I parry you, dude? I can, okay. The fear that I have of that guy, I cannot express it, is such a headache to the feet. And I actually did it first try. I'm really proud of myself. Oh yeah. This landscape is wild. Whoever came up with the idea for this area, dude, you guys are amazing. From software team, I love you. Your creativity has no bounds. You're awesome. From the two games that I played, and for, uh, from what I've seen of the very beginning of Elden Ring, you guys are amazing. Alright. Hello Lawrence, I'll come back. You just wait, sit there, lounge, enjoy your rest, and we'll fight eventually. Now this is when things start getting weird and it's so fucking cool. I remember, like, of course, as everyone else, you get here, it's like, oh, Yarnam is so messed up, and then you cross this path, and you're like, what the fuck is going on? I remember being so confused, I think I even walked back and forth, just to try to understand why was this different. <laughs> but, uh, it's so cool, dude. And actually, I wonder, what is this area? Because, like... The beginning resembles Yarnum. It's like the old, the memory that the hunters stuck here have of Yarnum, basically. It's the twisted version of Yarnum. But why does it convert to this area? What does this resemble? And also, can we talk about the fact that there is multiple watchtowers? Wild. <laughs> Amazing. Oh boy. How do I do this, dude? I know there's more. Yeah, exactly, there's one here. I am not sure if there's another one. This is so fun as well, because not not only the area is messed up, the city is all upside down. You also have like a calcified or whatever this is, amygdala. So wild. I wonder, like, this is actually something that makes me question. Is this a version of amygdala that they imagine dead here? Or was it actually an amygdala that showed up here and died? Because it got stuck. That's something that gets me really intrigued. Because the amygdalas live in the Nightmare Frontier and Nightmare of Menses. Especially Nightmare Frontier. So they do, they do live in the nightmares. They live in the metaphysical realms. But there's also amygdalas on the normal world. So was this just a manifestation of a memory they had of the amygdalas? Or was it actually a living one that died here? It's so interesting. Oh! 
Motherfucker. <laughs> I actually thought he was gonna kill me like that. Holy shit, that was really quick. Alright, there's more hunters. I know I'll have to kill another hunter, because I get a badge from him. That's gonna be fun. There's another boom hammer there. Or boom ham hammer. Boom hammer hunter. Oh shit. Right, the timed molotovs. Alright, and this area... This area is full with the uh, blood leakers. I don't like that. Or blood suckers, whatever you call those creatures. I don't remember. I don't know the actual names of most of the enemies. So... But you get the gist of it. Why do they all have hoods? Oh! This guy. I actually find this interesting. I don't know why, why this little detail, but they have hoods in this area. Instead of having just normal clothing. Why are they hiding their face? The late Molotovs look like this. What the hell? Okay. The guide warns me that there's a trap here in the place to catch the boom hammers, so I apologize in advance for not falling for the trap because I already know of its existence. If that isn't the dumbest shit that I've done. <laughs> I thought if I destroy the place of the trap, I'm not gonna get hit by it. That's so funny. I really have such a talent for timing on the shit that I say. Alright, so now... Let's play smart. Let's not hit the fucking obvious trap that I knew of. How do I avoid it though? That's the question. Does it trigger and I have to run? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Boom hammer. Oh yeah. Where should I go now? Oh, the, the beast hunter is that way. I remember that. I'm not excited about it. But I have to kill him. I'm wondering where's the next lamp. I think the, the nightmare is very little lamps, right? They are quite spread out. Yeah, there he is. Oh. I'm not a fan that I have to face him here, but...
first try oh this is awesome oh wow <laughs> what dude i don't mean to brag but i now i can really feel that my skill improved a ton i remember coming here with like the double of my health and dying to this fucker so many times what and with this little amount of health i kill him first try i even parried him dude what ah uh, i i cannot express like how relieving and rewarding this feels because after so many weeks of facing bosses on the dungeons having my health cut by half dying hours on end one shot to so many bosses it really felt that, like, no matter how much I improved my skill, I would always die really quickly. And now I'm finally back to an area on the main game where I don't have that cut on my health, where the combat is more forgiving, and I can actually feel how my skill has improved. Because before, if I would make a mistake, I would just die immediately. Now I have the luxury of being able to make mistakes wow it's really fun to notice how much this has improved how much my gameplay has improved okay there we go old hunter top head all right so now I guess we'll go to the right and face the blood-starved beasts and the hunter that is there. I'm not excited about these blood leakers or suckers or whatever though. I think these fuckers have a lot of health. I'm happy they haven't noticed. Oh! Oh no! Okay, okay, okay. They're way more manageable than I thought. Okay. I thought they were gonna be way worse to kill. That... <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't remember they spit blood. Okay. I'll just try to get this one's attention first. Since he's roaming the block oh that's a lot of damage and poison as well huh Ooh. right you still hit with the hands as well I'm gonna have to run back. In the midst of all this, I'm also trying to recall which one is the first boss. Oh, my legs! Oh, it's so much better. <laughs> my legs hurt so bad. Um, but yeah, I was trying to recall which one is the first boss. I have no idea. Like, obviously we already saw Lawrence, but we cannot fight him until we get his skull. And... I don't know which boss it is after that. Is it the failures? Is it Ludwig? Oh shit, it might be Ludwig. Oh no. It is Ludwig, isn't it? No. Because Ludwig is protecting the entrance to the research hall. And then I can get to the failures, Lady Maria, get the skull to go back and fight Lawrence. It is Ludwig. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> no. I was really hopeful that I would start with an easier boss. That really sucks, dude. What? They really put the first, the first boss of the DLC is one of the toughest bosses of the game. And the last boss of the DLC 
is probably the worst one. For fuck's sake. Let me go! They really didn't hold back with this DLC, huh? They started with Ludwig? Dude, I just... I'm so happy that I'm seeing results on my combat. And I'm so happy to be exploring a new area. But now knowing that I'll have to face Ludwig right away is... Kind of bringing me war flashbacks in a way. Oh boy. I can't believe they did us this dirty. No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Where are you shoot- This fucker. There's two? You're kidding me. The idea was to hit one of them down from the bridge, knock one down, and instead they knocked me down. I really can't believe it. I, I was hopeful that I would face at least one boss in this episode, since it's the start of the DLC, but realizing the first boss is Ludwig, I think I'll just stop the game before it. Let's explore this part of the DLC, have some fun. We don't need to go through torture already. And then we'll explore the rest. Then we'll, we'll spend some nice hours, to say the least, facing that bugger. I'm confident on my skill, but still, it's Ludwig. It's really fast. Unbelievable. I turned thinking I'm gonna get his ass and get my health back. <laughs> Nero is sleeping right by my side, by the way. Oh, no, 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 no. If there is one thing that Blood Level 4 taught me, is that the pistol can also make kills. Okay. Finally, shall we? This fucker is gonna be tricky. Because this weapon deals a lot of damage. I can't lock on. Why can't I lock on to him? Do you heal? I hope the fuck not. You do. Awesome. Build up! I was doing so well. So I could just run here all this time. Okay. All right.
Oh, fuck. The I'm being missed doesn't work for long, unfortunately. Fuck, 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 fuck. <sighs> yes, buddy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm a pro at this shit. It took me... To attempt, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I had to remember that I just died once, but yeah. That happened. And I even remembered the Numbi miss. Unfortunately, they didn't work how I intended. They have a very short span of action. Alright, so... I know there's some Blood Starved Beasts here. And this shit is dark as hell. So... Let me use this to help a bit. And there it is, the beauty. I just faced one of these yesterday on the dungeons. I almost killed it without taking damage. Almost. But I knew I was gonna kill it first try. The Blood Star Beast has become such a easy boss for me. I say this, but I still died to it a couple of times on the dungeons. But, you know, we manage. Migdal an arm. I'll take a quick break. I'll eat something, stretch my legs, and I'll be back. Alright everyone, I'm back. I took a break as I said, and now we'll push forward. I want to at least be done with this area today, and then we'll start the next episode facing Ludwig. I am not gonna face that fucker today. I don't feel ready for such a, a feat. I did it. They're gone, finally. I think the lamp is there, right? No, 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 it's not there. I have... After this, there's more Blood River with two of those big guys and then there's a chapel with the lamp. I think so. I believe this is still very fresh in my head. Again, it's an area that I really like. And again, I died a shit ton of times to Ludwig. You're a hunter with your sanity, aren't you? Must have taken a wrong turn then, eh? Yes. We're more alike than you think. This is the hunter's nightmare. Where hunters end up when drunk with blood. How did you end up here? Here barefoot. They are fascinating. I believe when I first played the game, I also chose this option. I legitimately thought nightmares were really interesting because who doesn't? It's a twisted version of the world you already knew. It's awesome. Oh yes, I see. You sense a secret within the nightmare and cannot bear to leave it be. Yeah. As if the spirit of lives on. 
I remember reading that quote and wondering what he was talking about. Secrets are secrets for a reason, and some do not wish to see them uncovered, especially when the secrets are particularly unseemly. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's talking about the orphan of cause, but I remember when I first had this dialogue, I was just wondering what is waiting for me in this nightmare. Alright, and this was a shortcut that I didn't remember. I knew that the door should open at some point. I didn't remember it was gonna be a shortcut. So there we have it, that's why we have such a small amount of lamps in this nightmare. Because this one, with a simple shortcut, I can already skip all of that that I ran through before. If I'm not mistaken this nightmare has like what, five lamps? And it's basically just two lamps on this area. I'm just not realizing it makes so much sense that these fuckers give bl um, circular blood gems. Because they are the ones that related to blood tinge and these fuckers drink a lot of blood. It's actually really interesting to notice the placement of the gems according to the, to the enemies. Fucking hell. Fucking hell, dude! Did I... Am I finally gonna use pebbles? Maybe. Fucking unbelievable! F this doesn't make any sense, but I feel like I took a break and now I have less patience to play. It really makes no sense. I'm acting as if I've been playing for a really long time and I've been dying so many hours in a row, but no, like I... I took a break and I kind of just feel like chilling and it's annoying me that I have to die to enemies. All right, that's better. That's much better. And I totally forgot the path to the next lamp was bigger. I didn't remember there was this part still. There's another boom hammer under around here. I know it. Isn't he in this corner or something? I think he's in a corner. There he is. And he has a gun. Ah oh, no, it's um it's not the boom hammer one. It's this one. Okay. This area is so messed up, dude. You have all of these torn apart corpses. It's not even people, it's corpses, because they're just bones and remnants of flesh. And yet they still move. Ah, okay. So I was not all in the wrong. There is indeed someone in one of these corners. But it's not a boom member hunter. Yeah, that's the whirling saw. The pizza cutta. There we go. With that I have another full set. This is awesome, I just started the DLC and I already have two full sets of attire. Let me just try it out. There's also another head. Yeah, no. Nah. The old hunter cap has way more style. For me at least. Okay, now let me check the other set. I believe this is the same set as the... as Walter, isn't it? Oh yeah, I totally forgot to mention, but, um, yeah, exactly, it's the same set. I totally forgot to mention, but 
while farming for blood gems and whatnot, I also got some other stuff. I got, I completed Walter's quest and I got the Master's Iron Elm. I got the Mother's Whistle and I also got the Ring of Betrothal. And I believe when I finish the game, I'll enter New Game Plus just to quickly get some other items that I can only get on a new game. Motherfucker. What's up everyone? I'm back. Uh, there was a small change of plans yesterday. I couldn't finish the episode as I intended. So I'm back today and we're finally gonna finish this part of the DLC. And I'm also gonna use the chance to kill Ludwig today. Yeah, I'm not gonna face him. I'm gonna kill him. Right, I was gonna face this hunter. Oh shit, I totally forgot. Do you see the skill? Do you see this? The ease that I have to detect the windows to parry. I am really, really, really happy to see this development. Oh, you get vermin here. Oh, that's interesting. We are really close to the next lamp. Really, really close. But this does not mean that we're safe. Because I know there's two big guys coming, I believe with cannons, which doesn't make me happy. Yeah, they're there. Oh god. Why oh, survive? There's one with an axe and one with a cannon, okay. I am going for the lamp just for the sake of my sanity. Because I don't want to die and have to do all the run again. And then... I'll kill them. Alright. I am very relieved to have this lamp now. And we are so close to Ludwig. You have way too much health. I knew they had some weird shit going on with them, but I didn't remember it was this tentacle thing. I thought they had some sort of bell effect that at some point they would stun you with some purple aura. Maybe it's another version of them further ahead. I'm not sure. I'm confusing it. Yeah, yeah, I think it's this. Exactly, okay, okay. I remembered well. Okay, so that weapon sort of works as a bell, or it has some, it, it, it gives off some ringing that stuns me or something. I hear him coming, okay. I 
I don't know why, but I totally forgot that I could do this. I fought, I killed plenty of madmen on the dungeons like this. Well, not like that. Motherfucker. I love that I'm just killing this guy and the other one walks by as if nothing is happening. There we go. Finally. Okay, I needed this as well. Alright, the last thing that I need to pick up in this area before I face Ludwig is the pizza cutter. I don't recall if it's down here, but I'll come into this area first just to be sure. I knew something was gonna fall or I thought something was gonna be here or show up here. Yeah, this fucker fell from the fishing hamlet. Such a fun detail though. Alright. I'll just check if there's anything else to pick up. On the guy, there isn't anything else before Ludwig. But I just want to check if there's any item or anything. So this is it. This was all the area that I wanted to have explored yesterday to be done before Ludwig. But it was quick, it didn't take long. So now I'll just take a break, have lunch, and then we'll be back and face Ludwig. Alright everyone, I took a break, I had lunch, and now it's time to face Ludwig. I already got the counter up. This time I won't make the same mistake as with Yarnum. I faced her 20 times before I remembered to start counting. But, uh, I have no idea how many attempts it, it will take to kill Ludwig. I am confident that he's one of the hardest bosses in the game. So let's see. I really... I, I want to say a number, but I have no idea. It could be close to 100, it could be 20. I have no idea, really. Let's just go for it.
Let's go. That went really well, actually. That went really well. I'm actually proud that I managed to deal so much damage on the first try. You see what I mean? That I'm confident on my skill, because... Again, I spent the last weeks on cursed dungeons, farming shit. Dying to bosses that had way too much health. And in dungeons that cut my health by a big amount. So it was really torture. But now I'm back to the normal game. The bosses have a bit less health. I have my normal health. They deal less damage, so it's more forgiving. It's a totally different experience. All that training, literally, that I've gone by is paying off now. I'm really happy that I dealt so much damage in the first try. That already speaks numbers to me. That killed me. Oh, shit. Okay. Ah, but it's going way better than I expected. Actually, no, it's going exactly as I expected, to be honest, to be fully honest. I remember your charge attack. Okay. <laughs> that one is a bit tricky. I just said that this attack is tricky and I immediately died to it again. I knew he had an attack like this. Oh, I dodged too early. I delayed. <laughs> again. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. It's so funny, dude. I see the attack and I'm like, okay, I gotta wait. <laughs> I kind of enter a trans state of mind that I forget that I gotta dodge still. <laughs> it's like, I, he starts the attack and I'm like, I gotta wait. <laughs> it's so funny, dude. I dodged too early. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I actually feel like Ludwig has become an easy boss right now. After all the training that I did, I feel like I can beat him really quickly. I was doing really well. <laughs> Fucking bastard. I was doing so well. Oh, I was so close. How could you do this? Oh, I thought I, I, thought I dodged at the wrong timing. Second phase! Second phase, my dude! Alright! 26 attempts in. 27, actually. That's nice, okay. Didn't take that long to reach second phase. Alright. Now this is gonna be tricky. Shit. Oh! No! <laughs> <laughs> I just got here! No, dude! Fuck! <laughs> Second phase without using the blood vial, dude! Let's go! Alright! 
there we have it. Charge attacks. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh. Well, at least I'm really happy that I'm getting to the second phase pretty quickly. The first phase is becoming pretty easy. I can manage it pretty well. So I think I'm gonna switch up my setup and increase my arcane resistances instead of physical. Oh! What? No! Okay, but that was a big improvement. I got to this point within 40 attempts, and I believe I've been facing him for an hour? An hour and so? So, for the amount of time that I've been facing him, this is mad improvement. Alright everyone, so I took a quick break, and... It's time to head back to business. Oh! No! Ah, uh, why is that double swing so tricky, dude? Why? Oh, he killed me with one shot, really. Okay, but that was way better. Okay. I'm happy that I got to this point again. I tried! What? It can one-shot me! Second phase again. Let's go. Oh, I survived! <clears throat> I'm just dumb fucked by the fact that I'm alive. Why does that one slice kill me? Why? It's just... Whoop! So slow! It's so slow! It's so triggering! Because you know there is going to be a delay. And it deals so much damage even though it's such a slow attack. Ah, it's so close, dude. I am so tired of this guy. <sighs> Alright, everyone. After another much needed break, I am back. Let's hope I kill Ludwig this time around. I was a bit stubborn because I faced him for like two hours in a row and he fucked up my old mood, my focus, so I kept dying over and over. I could have killed him in such less attempts if I had only taken a break earlier. But yeah, let's see how it goes.
I fucking did it finally. <laughs> My heart is pounding so much right now. I died a hundred and fifty four times to this fucker. I expected to be done with him within 30, 50 attempts, to be honest. Max a hundred. I went over a hundred. I was expecting to kill him within like two or three hours. I spent a whole afternoon doing this. I spent like six hours fighting him. You saw how strong I started. I started so well, dealing immediately a lot of damage, getting close to the second phase. Like within 30 attempts, I was already on the second phase. And it took me 120 more to kill him. I'm glad I managed. I'm really happy that I did it today. I was so afraid that I, I started so confident and that I would have to stall it for another day. I would lose my shit. It would completely break the confidence that I've built up. I believe if I show up with the church attire, he asks me about the hunters, if I'm not mistaken. I want to give him some peace of mind before he dies. Tell me. Yeah, exactly. The church. Have you seen the light? Are my church hunters the honorable Spartans? I hoped they would be. Ah, good. That is a relief. To know I did not suffer such denigration for nothing. Thank you kindly. Now I may sleep in peace. Farewell, Ludwig. You served us well. Darkest of nights. I see the moonlight. Damn. Such a beautiful story, really. Ludwig's story is really sad. He's the first hunter of the church. The first one. Look what happened to him. That's mad. With this, I am finally over with this episode. I'm really glad that I beat Ludwig today. I was so afraid I would have to delay for another day. And yeah, with that, the first episode of the DLC is over, and I'm really happy about that. So, after this we'll explore, I guess, the research hall, kill the failures in Maria, and then from then on. But yeah, I'm, I'm glad that the uh, progress, it didn't go as smoothly as I intended, but at least I did defeat Ludwig today. I'm really happy about that. But yeah, thank you guys for tuning in, I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Take care.